Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is what type of inheritance does the pedigree below show? Take a look at this pedigree and probably you can notice very peculiar pattern. Take a look at the first generation, the male affected and only his daughters affected and none of his sons. And in the next generations where daughters are affected, both males and females are affected. For example, take a look here. He is a son affected. He is a female affected and both her daughters and sons are affected. But when son affected, again, only daughters would be affected in such family. He is male affected, only daughters are affected. And when son is not affected, none of his um, progeny is affected just like for example in this case also. So what type of inheritance it is? Take a look. We can explain it with X-link dominant genetic disorder. Let's red color specify defective X chromosome. So this male has defective X chromosome and green color would specify normal chromosome and of course normal Y chromosome. And female here has two normal X chromosomes. So what pattern of inheritance we are going to see in the progeny. For example, this female here, from the father's side, she only can inherit this defective X chromosome and not Y chromosome, of course, only X chromosome. So all daughters are going to inherit this defective X chromosome from the father's side. And from the mother's side, they only can inherit normal X chromosome. So normal here is recessive uh, allele on the X chromosome. And I'm going to show the whole chromosome, red or green. Of course, not the whole chromosome is going to be defective, only one allele on such chromosome. And uh, of course, male progeny got from the father side Y chromosome and X chromosome from the mother side. Y chromosome from the father side and normal X chromosome from the mother side. And we assume that all people who are genetically unrelated to this couple are going to be phenotypically and genetypically normal. So all people who marry into this family. So this male has genotype as follows. And this male has genotype as follows. And this female genotype is as follows. And this male has genotype as follows. Now take a look what's going to happen to the progeny of these daughters who are affected. In this generation, generation number three, we are going to see that 50% of the males are going to be affected and 50 are going to be unaffected. Take a look what happens here. From the mother side, this male got defective X chromosome. He can get normal X chromosome or defective. He got defective X chromosome from the mother side. From the father side, this male cannot get X chromosome, otherwise two X chromosomes would specify female. So from the father side, he got Y chromosome. And Y chromosome is normal. So he's a genotype of this male. What about this male? This male got normal X chromosome from the mother side and normal from the father side, normal Y chromosome. And this female here got normal X chromosome from the mother side and normal X chromosome from the father side. As for the genotype of this female, number three here, she got from the mother side this defective X chromosome and from the father side, she only can get normal X chromosome. So here's her genotype. And as for this couple, again, this female here got normal X chromosome from her mother side and normal X chromosome from the father side. But this male here, son of this couple, he got defective X chromosome from the mother side and normal Y chromosome from the father side. Another interesting couple here is this couple, six and seven. Six is the son of this couple and from the father side he only can get Y chromosome. He cannot get defective X chromosome from the mother side, he got also normal X chromosome. And in his family and in his progeny, we never would see this uh, genetic disorder 
unless it's going to happen due to uh, novel uh, mutation. So genotype of the uh, the male is going to be phenotypically and genotypically normal, and this female also going to be genotypically and phenotypically normal. And in their progeny, there is close to zero risk of getting this genetic disorder. In the progeny of this male, we also are not going to see this genetic disorder. Now let's take a look at this couple. Here is male that shows this X-linked dominant genetic disorder. And again, that means that he only can pass it to his daughters and not to his sons, because to his uh, son, he can only give a Y chromosome. An X chromosome would be inherited from the mother side. And that explains why in this family where affected father, only daughters are going to be affected. And the same is true here. Genotype of this male is defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome, and he only can transmit this genetic disorder to his daughters, because from the father side they have to get X chromosome, another X chromosome they have to get from the mother side. And all the male progeny getting X chromosome from the mother side and Y chromosome from the father side, which is also normal, so all the male progeny are going to be phenotypically normal. So as you see, our answer is going to be that this is x link dominant genetic disorder. One more time, the pattern is going to be as follows. If male is affected, only his daughters are going to be affected. If female affected, 50% of the daughters and 50% of the male progeny are going to be affected. And again, in the following generation, those males that uh, are affected, only their daughters are going to be affected. And those males who are unaffected, none uh, of his progeny is going to be affected. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.